And one of the things that I've learned, um, and I learned later on in parenting, is that sometimes you have to stop and just listen. That's the biggest thing. You have to stop and listen. One of the things that I stopped and I started listening, because I can tell you, I've had kids, and before they can be like, Dad, I gotta tell you something, I already have my big hands on them, bringing them close so I can hear them. Like, what are you about to tell them? Because don't be mad, Dad, I gotta tell you something. And I had to stop that. I had to like stop and listen and just let them talk. I had to let them talk and listen. And I can tell you the dynamics of our relationship with all my children changed. It changed drastically. I even had to start learning to ask my kids, so what did you do today at school? Is there anything you want to talk about? As parents, we have to, we live in a very fast, fast times right now. And we're always on constant on the go. And I can tell you because I'm always on the go. And sometimes I try to make sure I'm home for dinner. Because the dinner time is a time that we have a bowl. My, my, my kids will tell you, we have a bowl, and you put your phone in that bowl. Because we're going to sit down and eat dinner together. The most amazing conversations happen at dinner time. At dinner time, the most amazing things happen. Now, I have some kids who try to figure out the system, and it's like, they just sit there, you know, I got boys who are taller than me, you know, my one son is six, seven, my other son, and he's like six, six, and they do this, they just go, oh, and they kind of, they're trying to get up out the kitchen so that they want to get on social media. And I'm like, I, 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 I'm like, you're going to sit here until everybody's done. So when I sat down with my kids, I, I, my relationship changed, and I realized that some of my relationship changed with, I had a better relationship with others once I really figured it out, okay? And I figured it out by just taking my time with my kids. I know that you have careers. I understand that. I know you have to go to work because you have to keep a roof over their head. You have to keep clothes on their back, shoes on their feet. However, you have to make time. You also have to make time to say, okay, whether it costs you money or not, you have to set a certain day, whether it's every other week or every first or third Thursday, do something with your children and build that relationship with them. You have to do that. Because I tell my kids all the time, and they try to play me, like, hey, let's, we're going to the movies on this day, whether you've seen that movie or not, you're going to go. And we're going to have a good time. And then they get there, and they're just kind of like, man, this was kind of cool. And some of the best conversations happen when you take your time and, and sit with your kids.